Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to worship. We're so glad you're worshiping with us here at the Anglican Church of St. Bart's, the island of St. Bartholomew. And I'm the Reverend Jesse Thompson. I'm the Reverend Dan Klein. The two of us are the co-rectors, co-rectors of the Church of St. Paul in the Desert in Palm Springs, California. And it's our honor and privilege to have you join in with us to this morning. Take a deep breath, and we hope that you will be present to the Spirit. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us say together the colic for purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. O God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart, and united to one another with pure affection, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one I will boast, but on my own behalf I will not boast except on my weakness. If I wish to boast I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me. Even considering the exceptional character revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities for the sake of Christ. For for whenever I am weak, then I am strong. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Jesus came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joses and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their hometown, and among their own kin and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, As you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick 
and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord.